Hello everyone! As you can see, I'm back from my vacation and able to record a video. Um, here's to hoping this one I don't accidentally mute myself again. <laughs> uh, that was just plain embarrassing. My first attempt at recording this, I muted myself within the first five minutes. And that video was 30 minutes long. <laughs> so, uh, that's a tad embarrassing that I did that. Anyways, today I wanted to um, share some of my vacation photos and recent pieces. And then I want to go over my commission stuff. So, first things first, vacation photos. So, I went to visit my friend, um, like the last, well, pretty soon after I put out that message saying I'd be gone till August. Um, I was in the middle of the U.S., um, but to respect my friend's privacy, I still will not say where I was. So, yeah. They took me to a beach, and my friend dug this heart-shaped hole to put th her phone in and take photos so that we'd have, like, a heart outline, almost. Um, so, I can't show you the photos we took, but it was a cool idea and fun to try out. So that's what this photo is showing. Um... Here is a picture from one of my flights. I believe... Let's see, I think it was my first one from when I flew into Chicago. Which I do not recommend flying into Chicago or flying out. Chicago is a disaster. My flights kept getting delayed when I was trying to fly out of Chicago. And, like, we landed on time, but we couldn't disembark on time because we had to wait. And, yeah, it was just a nightmare. That and that airport is huge. But, yeah. Anyway, my friend and her... Some of her family took me on a hike. I'm doing air quotes. <laughs> um, which was on, like, the bluffs of a river. I don't know that I got the name of it. Which is fine, because I can honestly tell you I don't remember where it was at. Um, but here's, you know, the river and stuff. It wasn't really much of a hike, at least not what I'm used to. Hikes around where I live are a lot more difficult than this hike was. <laughs> Here's a very relatable chat er, sticker. Wow. Sticker. Sticker, sticker, sticker. Here's a relatable sticker that I found. Another relatable one. And this one, I wish life was this simple. Sorry. But I thought it was funny, so. And this one was simple but encouraging, which was nice. Um, I didn't actually purchase any of these stickers. Then these, oh, these were so funny. I saw these and immediately knew I needed to show these to my uncle and grandpa. Um, so they called these fish flops, so I assume they are flip flops. But they look like fish, and it's just hilarious. And then I saw these cool 3D printed 
dragons that were really flexible. It was really cool. And then here's a painting I did because um, my friend wanted us to paint together. And then I got to see the Mississippi River. And I can say that because that is the longest river in the U.S. So find out what state I was in when I saw that. If I was in a state at all. Which I was, but I'd have to be in the middle of the river to not be in a state. Or Canada. Does the Mississippi River go up to Canada? I'm terrible with geography. Let me look that one up. Oh. Where ever go into Canada? Oh yeah. So, the main river is entirely within the U.S., but it sounds like a drainage basin, a drainage basin does end up in Canada. So I guess I could have been in Canada. I wasn't, but I'd have to get a passport for that. Anyways, sorry for that side tracking. Um, yeah, so I got to add two more states to my list of states I've been to and see a really big river. So, it's pretty cool, all things considered. And I enjoyed seeing my friend again, because that was the first time in almost four years that we had seen each other in person. Oh. But I was really homesick, because none of my family came with me. I traveled all by myself. And stayed with my friend for like a week, all by myself. So, it was a really big thing to do, and proud of myself for it, and not doing that again anytime soon, because that was, while good for me, it was scary, and I love my parents. I don't want to be away from them. Anyway, here's some recent photo pieces. Why do I keep doing that? Recent pieces. Recent pieces. Sounds like I'm saying Reese's pieces. <laughs> recent art pieces that I did. Um, so I've been working on a piece with my OCs Toshiko and Dana. And here's Toshiko, because I finished her. And I have the background done. I just need to finish up Dana. Overall, I was really happy with how Toshiko turned out. Um, although it would appear that it's not that popular. But, oh well. I'm doing art for myself, and that is the important thing to remember. I do it for myself, not for the views or likes or whatever. Well, and I do it to make people happy and stuff. Like, I want to bring joy to people through my art. Encouragement, you know, warm feelings. Uh, here's the PNG for Toko and without the um, overlay that this one had. As you can tell, I got kind of lazy with the shading and didn't really shade her arms or feet that much. Excuse me. Um, and then here's Skylar. Um, 
if she were in Genshin Impact. Hold on real quick. Sorry, I needed to get a drink of water. Um, so, one main worry I have with Skylar's Genshin design is that I don't think I did enough gold. Because I noticed that a lot of Genshin designs have a lot of gold on them. Um, but I have a hard time putting gold on Skylar. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just the way I tend to color gold. I feel like it doesn't really suit her. But, I don't know. I'm mostly happy with her design. So it may change. And then here's the current finished Genshin designs. Like, I have three out of the five done. Six if you include Silent. So, which I'll show more about that in a sec here. Make sure I have this open. Okay. Okay. So, just wanted to make a quick announcement saying thank you so, so much for 117 followers on Twitter. That is the most followers I have ever had anywhere. So thank you so, so much for following me on there. And then wanted to come over here and show you my updated card page and commission stuff. So this part's still the same, but I updated it to include my commission info. I'm going to change that. that All right, I'm back. Had to fix it because it looked weird. So I now have no commission info. So like status currently closed, but I will open it either the 14th or 15th of August. Um, and then where I accept commissions. Oops. I didn't realize I would do that. Okay. And then, to help make things easier, I also put my commission types on the card page as well. So... Got examples and options listed. Um, so yeah. My card page is typically always listed in my bios. And in, for YouTube, I do tend to list it in my uh, description box as well. So it should not be hard to find at all. Anyway, so here's where I take commissions. You do not need an account. All you need is an email. So, you know, a bit of description. This will tell you my queue which, you know, is empty right now, because... <laughs> yeah. So, I'll see the requests, awaiting payment, in progress, awaiting final approval, you know, all that jazz. And then, you know, terms of service. Client agreed to the following terms of service prior to paying the invoice, this terms of service, describes all terms, including cancellation and refund policies. So here's the link. Before starting a project, we need to make sure we are on the same page so there aren't misunderstandings and to protect against fraud. So please take the time, some time to read through these terms. Thank you.
And yeah, it's really important that you read through my terms of service, even though it's really long and might have confusing um, wording. Because what document doesn't? <laughs> um, but it is very, very important so that you know your rights and understand my rights and like so we can get along and make sure to get the best possible outcome for your commission um and yeah it's really long it's six pages but it needs to include everything that might pop up um so yeah another big thing is this section right here. Client is 18 or older and legally able to commit to an agreement. Um, I suppose if you're at a outside of the US, you have different laws regarding adulthood. Um, but in the US, you have to be 18 to be considered an adult and allowed to make these types of agreements and whatnot. Um, or if you're under 18, you have to have a legal guardian to make the agreement on behalf of you. So, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. Big part here, like... I am old enough... To be making these types of contracts, I need to make sure you are old enough to be making these contracts, too. Because the terms of service is basically a contract. You are agreeing to my terms, and I'm agreeing to terms that are specifically for the client. Um, to make sure we can, you know, yeah. In terms of service, it, it's kind of self-explanatory. Each one is different depending on the artist, but make sure you just read through my terms of service before commissioning me. Um, especially so you know your rights. Like, you don't want to accidentally break the terms of service and then, because you can't claim that you didn't read it. Like, that's not going to be a valid excuse here. You should read it. You should at least skim it. If you violate the terms of service agreement, you violate the terms of service agreement and I'm within my whatever boundaries are listed to respond however is listed. Like, you think I mentioned it? Anyways, terms of service, very, very important. Please read it. And then, okay. So here's my options of commissions. Uh, the way it's set up, you can click it and then next, but we're going to stay on here for a bit. So it'll list what type of commission it is. This one is cards. It has, you know, fly, five slots. It'll take about 30 days minimum for delivery. Or 30 days minimum or within 30 days. I think it was 30 days minimum. Um, you know, any additional information, such as why the price is what it is and what the commission is for. So, this one, the cards are $5 to $25, and I can explain that. So, as you can see in the request details, we still got, you know, the option of what it is. So you just need to put your nickname, your email. You know, notice that I have this list of things that I will not accept requests with. Um, basically, I try to keep my art um, safe for kids to see. And if it's not safe for kids to see, I generally will not accept it. Kind of just depends on what 
it is. Um, and then you have this box here that is to describe what you want your commission to look like. Um, extra details. So as you can see here, I included options for like a simple background, which is five additional dollars, uh, US dollars, um, and a detailed background, which is an additional $15. So that's why the price range is what it is. It is generally the most basic minimum price that I can accept for the option and then the max price leaves room for any of these additional things that can be added to the P, the commission. Then you'll see here that you can uh, add reference photos for me so that I can ha get an actual image of what you might be looking for. Along with, you know, the description. Um, so yeah. And a lot of these um, example images I will be updating as I take or finish commissions so I can have actual commission examples rather than the next best thing I could find. Um, so th let's look at this one. So this one is called Profile Commissions. It's basically for any profile pictures. And again, you got the examples. So half body. So um, most of these commissions are five slots and 30 days. Um, some of them might actually take longer than that. Some of them may take less. It kind of just depends on what is asked of me. Um, but they asked for like a set thing that I can show you later. So I just picked 30. Um, so half body is typically waist up, but some of them can be like thigh up. And then we got full body commissions, which as you can see, doesn't necessarily mean completely full body, but it does mean the majority of the body is showing. Um, so yeah. And then there's character sheets or reference sheets, whichever you tend to prefer, but it's typically, you know, used as a character reference. And then we got fully rendered commissions, which does have an additional extra thing that I added. So additional characters. So you can add more than one character, but it will be, you know, $10 for every character that you own. Or add. Or $10 for every character that you add. <laughs> And then we got, you know, content creator assets. Most of these are like just my own that I've done. Um, like GIFs, ending screens, PNGs. And once I finish my 2D model, I can have that as an option too, but that will be its own category because there's no way this price would fly for a model. Just from the own time that I've put into it so far, it's already a lot. And most of the market value for 2D models is really high prices. Even for like um, the more basic ones, so. It'll be its own thing. This content creator assets is kind of more meant to be um, any type of commission a content creator might have wanted, like thumbnails, just character art that they may might want, um, just anything. 
And then, yeah, so in the off chance that someone might want, you know, like, spe special art, like thumbnail art or celebratory art or something, I did leave a thing for additional characters. Um, same for, like, ending screen-wise. Um, so, yeah. There's my commissions page and new card page. Um, and again, I will be uh, opening up commissions either August 14th or August 15th. And I think to start, I will have it be two slots maximum open, so I do not overwhelm myself. Um, and let's see. Wanted to show... The, um... Genshin character art, and explain things. So here's Kayla, she's a, well, she's a very, very, very old OC of mine. Like, I first started drawing with her. Like, oh, I need to find old art of my OCs and sh compare it to, like, the current versions because they've gone through so many changes. <laughs> Anyways, um, I figured if Kayla were in Genshin Impact, she would be a dendro or plant user. And I wanted her and Alex to be from Sumero because um, just in their own lore, they grew up together before Alex moved to where Skylar, Andy, and Allie live. Um, Kayla is still, you know, living in the same spot, but she comes over to visit Alex a lot, and so she's just part of the group as well. Um, so Kayla's and Alex's design are based off, you know, some consistencies I noticed in Sumero character designs and just what I thought would fit them the best. Um, and if it sounds, or if wanted, I can go into more of an in-depth analysis on why I chose what I did for each of these characters, but basically Kayla's a plant user, dendro user. Uh, she's from Sumero, and she's a sword user, but I'm gonna give her daggers because if Genshin Impact gets to take creative liberties with... Oh. Who was it? One of the newest characters. They're like a spear user, but they're allowed to use a gun as well. And another one's, a, I think, a sword and gun user. As... So... Kayla gets to be a sword slash dagger user. That's <laughs> <So> why not. <laughs> um, then here's Alex. He's lightning and or electro user. He is again from Sumero. And he is going to be a Claymore user. So yeah, as you can probably tell, I took a lot of inspiration from Kave and I'll hate them with Alex's design. <laughs> Just because of the Sumero guys, I liked their designs the best. And then we got Skylar. Fiddle load. There we go. Um. Skylar is from Liwa, along with Andy and Allie. And Skylar's going to be a hydro or water user. I figured that fit her the best. 
and she is going to be a polearm user. Or spear user. Um, so yeah. And then Andy, I got a sketch figured out. Um, but she's going to be a dendro as well. Um, I figured dendro fit her characteristics the best. So, that's why there's a repeating element. Um, like, just characteristics and power. Original power set makes Dendro fit her the best. So, and she's going to be a Catalyst user. Um, which basically means she just uses the vision powers instead of a weapon. And here's, you know, the design that I sketched out. I took a lot of inspiration from Hu Tao. And then Ali, I don't have anything done yet. Um, but she is going to be a fire pyro and also a callus, but I could um, spear or bow could fit her as well. And then silent is ice and bow, and she's from Inazuma. So yeah. Just wanted to quickly share some of that. Um, and like I said, if anybody wants an in-depth analysis on my characters and stuff, I'm fully willing to do that. Um, kind of been meaning to do an in-depth explanation or analysis video on just some of my main characters, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to show you guys today. So I hope you have a good, great rest of your day, and thank you for watching. Bye!